All right, before this video gets started, I want to make sure to let y'all know thank you for all the subs that's been uh, subscribing for the last month. I gained an extra 40 subs, so I appreciate that. Make sure to hit the notification bell. Also, make sure to give me feedback, try to get better at these videos. Also, let's see what else. Like and subscribe, and that's pretty much it. So, let's get started with the video. Some of these packages I've been getting. I ain't even got half the packages yet. And there's about three weeks before import. So let me give you a rundown on the engine bay, what's been happening. Right now I'm trying to put her back together. I might have to repaint this because I guess the cold kind of fucked my clear coat. So fuck. So I might do that today. I don't want to put her back today. So anyway, all right, so I painted the valve cover as you can see. It's kind of dirty right now because it's been in there. Not bad. Painted this, painted the whole transmission also. Uh, painted the turbo and I got the turbo guard also got my blanket with a uh, coated uh, heat proof under there and wrapped uh, the pipes and the wastegate pipes too so I'm about to get this thing lifted up and wrap every pipe that I can see or to keep down any type of heat going to the engine bay also did a washer fluid delete repainted this as you can see Got two clear, three, three two uh, coats of clear, and about two coats of paint. Not bad. I took the headlights off because I ordered some new ones, some halo ones, so hoping to get those soon. Uh, what else is that? Other than that, replaced everything, painted a lot of the parts, and that's pretty much it. So let's get to the parts. Got this JDM steering wheel yes it's jdm on a u.s uh production car i don't give a fuck it was cheap it's still good probably do order a sparks or whatever it's called got this breather i needed a new one got my cutout need to get a catalyst down pipe also got my boost gauge got my gasket for the thermostat housing got my turbo timer all right, like I was saying, the turbo timer, need to get this installed before import, hopefully. Got these MSD coil pack. Yes, I, I heard and read already, but it was already too late. I had to order these. People said these are trash, but I'll see how it works. If not, I still got the OEM one. Really, I just wanted the wires. Uh, these are 10 uh, millimeter wires. They're way thicker than the other ones, so you can keep the heat so it won't damage my coil pack or the coil wires. You got the clutch rod from CRX. Pretty cheap. Uh, got my new fuel rail. I got the last one, I'm not too sure, but all my social media has seen it. This dude welded the OBX uh, fuel rail and it was garbage. He um, welded the, the fitting, so I had to order new fittings. I was luckily able to get this out because now it's going to have to spend another 100 plus dollars but this is the bomba fuel rail brand new the fuel regulator from the previous one more wrap the oil pressure gauge new rings for my injectors the underglow kit i'm just going to put no ricey ass colors i'm just going to keep it uh white uh this is the thermostat get no the, the manifold gasket uh i don't know what i got in here i gotta open it some more gasket my my pillar i'll try to link uh, most of the products down in the, the in the bio link in the description what else have it? i know i'm missing some they probably in my room some more packages so pretty much, hopefully today we can get this 
going up. I know I'm not going to be able to start her up because I don't have the uh, fittings for my fuel rail. The 8 a the 8 and fittings. Uh, so the plan from here is pretty much uh, get my synchronizer, make sure that my third gear is running 100%. And I won't be afraid to miss a gear or anything like that. Also, run uh, either the snow or the AAM uh, methanol kit for sure because this turbo got to go. I might sell it. I'm not too sure. Don't know the the history on it, how many miles or anything like that. So, well, you know what? I do have the links, the copy of when he bought it. So I'm gonna look on that to that. But yeah, pretty much right for right now of the video is you just gonna be watching me put this back together. So enjoy. Alright, so after watching some videos because I forgot how to put some things back together and whatnot. This is what I got so far. Put the manifold back in. The testing the fuel rail to see how it goes. I think I got time. Alright, so about to put on the injectors into the new fuel row. Alright, so so far I couldn't record because I had to get use some videos because I didn't remember what I was doing, which bolt goes to what. But so far, so good. Did put the sensor right here on backwards, my dumbass. So took me a while to do that. Uh, other than that. Uh, won't be able to start her because I don't have the fittings like I told you other than that I will be having most of the parts put in need to find somewhere to mount this because I don't want it over there no more I don't know hopefully it comes out good and nothing uh, goes bad when I turn it on so let's put these fucking injectors in set y'all down right here So I named the injectors by one through four. Same thing. So I am gonna put the new O rings on as well. Try to focus. Is that dirty these are? <laughs> See the problem is with people when they build stuff and they sell it they don't take care of it so they leave the next person whoever purchased the vehicle that was built with unknown parts that need to be replaced like if i ever sell my srt i'm pretty sure that the next owner isn't going to be texting me and be like hey this went out this went out and you know because i like to take care of my stuff and I've owned businesses before, like sell shoes and whatnot. And I've always uh, tried to meet with the uh, buyer standard. All right, got it in. All right, so pretty much I got everything kind of, sort of, uh, back together. I'm just trying to see where these bolts go. I know some of these bolts go to the bumper. Um, let's see. I'm not too sure if I put the injectors on right. They just didn't snug in. But hopefully the guy that's coming over to put the clutch rod in, he verifies it and makes sure it's good. Um, low key, I'm not feeling these wires right here. I might paint them. They're just not what I, I thought they would look. I think the black ones look kind of a little bit, uh, a little bit more better. And I probably changed the turbo back to gray to be honest. Kind of blends in too much with it. I need to rewrap those over here. Make sure they look nice and good. And kind of tuck. Uh, Got to wait for the top part to get painted. Got to mount that. Got to tuck it all in. All these wires in once, uh, one more time. Um, just... Uh, going through each pack and see uh, what's left over. Got these. Now he's got to install them. Turbo timer, steering, the little 
bad. You know, it adds 700 horsepower. Whatever. Don't matter. It's my car. Um, I did get some of uh, the fittings today. And then I went by where the dude's description was 8 8. I mean, 8 A and these are, I think the ones I got are 6, not 8. So these are fucking too big. Now I bought three of them. I thought I might have needed them. Now I gotta see if they can take these back. I spent like 20 bucks in total. If not, I'm about to take an L. So, I uh, didn't use the coil pack, the MSD. I might try to sell it or something. I don't know. I'll throw it in when the next buyer buys this car or whatnot. But yeah, I'm gonna repaint this because look at this. I left it over at night and it was it dropped so cold. And I don't know, man. This thing looks crappy right now. I might have to just throw a fucking clear coat, repaint it real quick right here, just the top part, and just call it a day to be honest, cause it's a lot of work for this car, man. And I still don't have it running, gotta paint these, gotta paint the calipers, the wheels, gotta buff it out, gotta install the gauge, gotta install the, the pedals, what else? The steering wheel, still don't have no hub. Got to wrap all this, put the underglow. Uh, just a lot of work. So, yeah, I'm going to just call it a day for today because I got to go work tomorrow. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, before I did that, that, was, that van flying, boy. Anyway, uh, I got the headlights. I ordered them. Now I'm just trying to make sure they're going to fit all this stuff being all in there and whatnot. So yeah, hopefully I can put everything back together how it was, hoping. <laughs> so thank you for watching, make sure to uh, like and sub, and make sure to uh, comment below, give me some feedback and whatnot. Uh, if you got a 600 horsepower, 500 horsepower, uh, SRT, comment below your setup. I just wanna know like what route I should take and whatnot, cause this turbo is running around 30 pounds of boost, E85 and all that stuff like that. So I already explained to this, in other videos so yeah hoping i can get this finished quick man kind of tired working on it